So um, if you take someone who has chronic inflammatory symptoms and you do a tox test on them and they have a lot of chemicals and things in their system, they're going to have the same types of symptoms. Oh, gotcha. So if you add somebody uh, who's having trouble with an implant, whether it's chronically inflamed or infected or what have you, you're just making that situation more complicated for the patient. Each person only has a set of genes they inherited from their parents to give them the ability to detoxify anything. So if it reaches a certain capacity and then it's exceeded, you'll become more and more inflamed chronically and more symptomatic. So the environmental toxins are contributing to people's inflammation. Sure. It's just like eating a crappy diet. Okay. So then back to the MTHFR gene, because um, I have it as well. I know a lot of people that have it. And so they just have a harder time detoxing. And so that's what you're saying is contributing to the inflammation or other parts. Right. So if you already have a difficult time with coping with inflammation, so you get sick and you recover, but it takes you just a little bit longer and you may feel fine, but maybe you still have a cough. Maybe that's how it manifests. Or maybe you work out hard and instead of being sore for a day, you're, you're sore for three or four days and then you can work out again. So um, if, if that's already an issue for you, and something else is taxing your ability to, you know, cope from an immune standpoint or from a detox standpoint. Once again, you can only handle so many things. And then once capacity is exceeded, that's when people come, become symptomatic. And the symptoms associated with uh, chronic inflammation are pretty uniform across disease states. We just happen to be adding a mechanical, you know, this is a medical device added to an already complicated situation. 